Why does the fire attack have to wait for the wind? If we start the fire now, it will simply turn back upon us. I don't believe all this prayer nonsense is going to change the winds. Are you sure we can trust this guy? Lord Liu Qi was sent away by his father, and has taken refuge with our lord. He is a wise and courteous man. I just hope Lord Zhang Fei doesn't take out his anger on me. Lord Zhang Fei used to sell meat and wine. I bet he drank more than he sold, huh? I wonder what made him decide to become a warrior. Can we really win this? Looking at Cao Cao's fleet, I just feel a bit... Uh... Making winds blow? It sounds like the black arts to me. What's with all the secrecy? I don't like that Juga Leong. My lord, it's me. You probably don't remember me, I guess. I've been with Lord Liu Bei since the Yellow Turbans, but I've never been so scared. I have a wife and children, you know? I can't afford to die, but I suppose I must have faith and fight. With this battle, we must set the stage for the Three Kingdoms to be formed. However, Cao Cao will not make it easy for us. Lord Strategist? Never mind. It's nothing. Lord Zhao Yun, how goes Lord Juga Liang's preparations? He has just begun the prayer ceremony. It's all up to him now. Lord Zhao Yun! I come with orders from Lord Zhuge Liang. He wishes us to quietly begin the march. Quietly? We are to work our way around at Cao Cao's escape route, and he wants us to strike before Sun Quan's army can. I understand. I will leave Lord Zhang Fei in charge of guarding the prayer ceremony. Yes, my lord. Lord Liu Qi, will you please lend me your strength? Of course, Lord Zhao Yun. You have my gratitude. Now we must hurry. This way, Lord Zhao Yun. Lord Zhuga Liang has prepared a boat for you. I wish I knew what our strategist was thinking. Hey, how can he possibly overcome these numbers? And just what is this plan of his anyway?
will be passing through the enemy fleet. Brace yourself! The enemy ships are aflame! The fire attack has worked! It's all just as he predicted. Which means South Cell should start retreating next. Oh, and just where do you think you're going? Long gone. Now is my chance. Take this. and the path of justice has fallen before me. That should have bought my lord enough time. It would appear that Cao Cao has already begun his retreat. Forgive me, Lord Juge Leon. Please give me the order to pursue after him. Indeed. Godspeed, Zhao Yuan. Guan, I would like for you to accompany him. Our victory is not complete until Cao Cao is eliminated. Lord Zhuge Liang, I... 
I ask that you do it for the sake of our Lord. I have failed in my task. There is no excuse. I ask that you do it for the sake of our Lord. I hear you owe a debt of gratitude to Cao Cao, my lord. But please, show him no mercy. I saw you playing Go with Ma Liang the other day, my lord. Did you win? That Cao Cao sure can run fast. Lord Zhuge Liang is so calm. It seems like he expected to win all along. Lord Zhang Fei has gone on ahead. We must pick up the pace if we are to catch up in time. I can't believe we actually beat them. Your son is a fine warrior, my lord. He takes after you. And what of your second son? Is he still too young to fight? A merchant here? Now that's dedication. Cao Cao couldn't have gotten very far. Father, let's hurry after him. Huh. Now, to Cao Cao. Lord Zhuge Liang says that Cao Cao is making for the mountains, after which he will head for Nanjun. We must stop him before he reaches the mountains. The dictates of honor. So you are my next opponent. Fear, I'll fear. crush you like all of the others. We shall take a moment to review our ranks before we march. Cao Cao's just ahead, isn't he? Out of my way! Tremble in fear, boy! Swan you! Have you forgotten the debt you owe our lord? I have not. But I fight for my brother, and the light he brings to this land. Impressive, but I sense hesitation in you. My blade has betrayed my heart. I hate to say this, but we're going to need reinforcements. going to defend this position with our lives if that's what it takes. There's no way through. We'll have to find another path. <laughs> Report! It seems that the Allied reinforcements have arrived. Tremble in fear, my place! Leave South out and leave, Father. You have done enough. I do not need your help, my boy. I must finish this myself. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Thanks for coming, brother. But I'm more than strong enough to take this lot of each. Fight me now, for glory! Thank you, brother. Cao Cao fled to the west. I must retreat. This is not the end. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I'm afraid I can't let you through here. Tremble in fear before I Is there no way through at all? Report! 
It seems that the enemy reinforcements have arrived. No one's going to interfere with my brother's escape. You are indecisive. You can't kill our lord, can you? Silence! I will take Lord Cao Cao's head. I have no choice. Father. Well done, Father. I'll keep up with you. You'll see. I bring news. We've discovered another path. They're trying to sneak their way in. Crush anyone who tries to get through. Father, it looks like we can climb up here. We can't afford to lose any more of our allies. Our scouts have spotted Cao Cao's men resting. If we hurry, we might catch them. Continue on west, Father. I will sneak up on Cao Cao from the south. I couldn't kill Cao Cao. I just couldn't. I know. I had already taken that fact into consideration. With this, the stage is now set for Lord Liu Bei's rise to power. It is time to walk a path fraught with great danger. The alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Xuan struck a resounding victory at Cherbi. This crushing defeat forced Cao Cao to put his ambitions on hold. However, as Cao Cao had managed to escape unharmed, Sun Quan was unable to take any decisive actions. As long as Cao Cao was alive, they must slowly chip away at his strength and work towards building their ideal world. This was Zhuge Liang's plan to help Liu Bei turn his dream into reality. With Cao Cao unable to strike, Liu Bei turned his attention away from Sun Quan and built up his military forces. He then invaded four of the territories in southern Jing. Upon being sent to attack Changsha, Guan Yu found himself face to face with a most powerful opponent. It was the veteran general Huang Zhang, 
who served beneath Han Xuan, the prefect of Changsha. And so, Liu Bei obtained the four territories of southern Jing, as well as the skilled officers Wei Yan and Huang Zhang. He was also joined by the strategist Pang Tong, who was said to be a match for even Zhuge Liang himself. Meanwhile, in return for his assistance at Chirbi, Sun Quan demanded that Liu Bei hand over Jing. Zhuge Liang replied only that they would eventually return the province, but he did not give a clear answer as to when. Furious though he was, Sun Quan deemed it too dangerous to attack Liu Bei at that time. Instead, he sent his younger sister, Sun Shangxiang, to marry Liu Bei in the hope that it would improve relations between the two kingdoms. It was then that Liu Bei received a request for reinforcements from Liu Zhang of Yi. Fearful of Cao Cao after his conquering of Guangzhou, he had come to ask his relative Liu Bei for assistance. Zhuge Liang and Pang Tong recommended that they go on the pretense of assisting Liu Zhang, but then attack him instead. The land of Yi to the west, also known as Ba Shu, if Liu Bei could capture that territory, then the land would be divided in three between Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and himself. This was the path to his land of virtue. This was Zhuge Liang's Three Kingdoms strategy. Though he did move to assist Pang Tong and the others, Liu Bei did not attack Liu Zhang. Even standing before Yi's Loa castle, he did not make a move. For within him was a virtuous heart that he could not turn against. Mm -hmm. So you won't consider attacking Chengdu? I cannot betray Lord Liu Zhang. But my lord, the people of Yi province desire your rule. Silence. My army stays put. That is an order. Now then, I hope you don't mind helping me out, lads. Not at all! I crush! Enemy!